Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I ask that you would assemble, assemble yourselves a little closer as we begin uh, this morning's ceremony. And we want to welcome uh, you all to this great institution in our community, uh, the House of Right. Yeah, yeah, the House of Right. Uh, and so uh, my name is Darius Brown. I have the honor and privilege of being the state senator that represents this institution in our city and in Newcastle County in the state of Delaware, and also have the privilege of being the fraternity brother of the late Robert O. Wright I. Uh, and so all, on behalf of all of our Alpha brothers, uh, we want to thank the Wright family for allowing us to be here and partake in uh, this morning's ceremony uh, for, our, for our beloved brother. Uh, at this time, we're going to ask another great Alpha man to come uh, and give us our opening prayer, the Reverend Dr. Sylvester S. Beeman, Senior Pastor of the Bethel African Methodist Episcopal Church. Thank you, State Senator. And not only am I his fraternity brother, but I'm also Raj, Robert's large brother. Can I just start in my prayer by lifting up the fact that as a child growing up in Western New York, true story. I would often look up at the street signs and wonder who Mr. Johnson was, who was Mr. Ridgway, or here in Delaware for our young people, who's Mr. or Mrs. Tattenham. We don't know these individuals, but they've been honored by giving a street named after them. We know Robert O. Wright the first. Amen. And so every time we see this street, drive this street, walk this street, we know that it's in honor of a great brother who's not dead. If you look around and see his children and grandchildren, you will see that he's very much alive. Let's look to the Lord in prayer. God, we bless your name for giving us such a beautiful day, the day in which we honor your servant and son, Robert O. Wright the first. We thank you for his way. We thank you for his ways, his personality, his character, his integrity. Bless this gathering. Let it be meaningful to Deborah, the boys, and all the grandchildren, their spouses. In Jesus Christ's name we pray your great name and glory. Let us all say together, amen. amen. Thank you, Pastor Beeman. As um, we have these gold and black balloons behind me, uh, as Pastor Beeman was talking, we were visited by a black and gold butterfly that came right in front of this seal. And... Uh, I can only imagine that uh, Brother Wright is here with us, uh, not just in his sons and grandchildren and in his wife, but in each and every one of our hearts for his impartation and commitment to this Wilmington community. Uh, and so with that, we want to have some community remarks. Uh, first, from this East Lawn community by the president of the East Lawn Civic Association, uh, Ms. Ikea Minka, followed by uh, the illustrious uh, former president of Wilmington City Council, who at the time of the founding of the House of Right Mortuary also represented the first uh, city council district, uh, none other than uh, Ted, Theodore Ted Blunt. Uh, so uh, we're going to ask Ms. Mink if she would come. Uh, and then after that, we'll hear from Mr. Blunt. Good morning, everyone. As you heard, my name is Zakia Mink, and I am president of East Lawn Civic Association. And I'd just like to say, I can remember way back when um, Mr. Wright, I'll say Mr. Wright because there's a lot of Rob Wrights, <laughs> was, uh, had, had um, thought about um, starting this, this business. I was friends with one of his cousins, Ronnie Wright. And Ronnie was, um, friends to my brothers. I only had two brothers. I have many sisters. 
And so the, my brother's friends would always be over the house. And so all of us would be just like family. So I, I, like I had more brothers. And this one time Ronnie was talking. He said, guess what? I said, what? He said, my cousin getting ready to start a funeral business. I was like, a, a, a what? He said, he said, a funeral business. And see, back then, you weren't used to somebody just popping up saying, I'm going to start a, a business, because that was way back some years ago. And so, and he, you know, we talked about it. And he said, I wonder if he's going to ask me to uh, work for him, and da, 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 da. But I don't know if Ronnie ever worked for, uh, for Mr. Wright, but he would, he, was, he would always talk about that. And then I said, well, Ronnie, what's the name? What's going to be the name of it? He said, House of Wright. I said, oh, that spells how. And we just laughed about it, you know. But I am so thankful that uh, the House of Wright Mortuary is a part of our community uh, because of the fact that they have really honored us as a community. They're always there for us. Whenever we need uh, anything, any help or anything, they're always so willing to, um, to do just do whatever they can do to help us out. And um, I just want to say that um, Mr. Wright has really has something to be proud of. Uh, he's, he's leaving behind a great legacy through his boys, through his wife, Debbie, and his in-laws. And um, I just, um, just, I'm just honored and I'm just pleased that um, he's part of uh, our Civic Association. Because our Civic Association, our mission is to promote a safe, clean, and friendly neighborhood. And the, right, uh, right, the House of Wright Mortuary uh, just dis, uh, displays all of these things. They keep their area, um, it's very, very nicely. Um, they're friendly and we're all safe because, you know, they, because, because see, we look out for each other and they are the type of people who look out for you also. So uh, I just um, consider it a privilege and an honor. And you guys, you guys saw, have something to, look, to live up to and I know you will. Thank you. Good morning to the uh, Wright family, Mr. Mayor, elected officials, and invited guests. The street renaming of Robert O. Wright Way is a true testament to the Wright family's commitment to the citizens of Delaware. The House of Wright opened its doors more than 32 years ago in the first city council district. I personally can remember the official ceremony because I had black hair and I was wearing the same suit. It was also my first official duty as an elected city councilman in the first district. I was 44 years of age when the doors opened and the Wright brothers were probably between the ages of four and eight. So you could probably, just knowing what the math is, guess how old I am today. Today, 32 years later, the House of Wright is still standing, thriving, and making a difference in our community. The business is now under the capable hands of Justin and other family members, thanks to the nurturing hands of their parents, Robert and Deborah. In closing, we must not forget the family slogan, trust the right family to serve your family. Thank you. This morning, we also want to recognize uh, members of Wilmington City Council that are here uh, to celebrate uh, this occasion. I want to recognize the president of Wilmington City Council, Anifa Shabazz, who is here. And the first district councilwoman, Ms. Linda Gray, who was here. At this time, we're going to uh, hear a song of inspiration uh, from our favorite songstress and uh, definitely the House of Rights songbird. Uh, Miss Leonette Davis Collins, and then after that, we're going to ask Mayor Michael Brzezicki if he would come uh, with remarks and presentation of the executive order. Good 
Good morning. I'm excited to be here for such a well-deserved occasion. I'm going to sing two lines of a song, and I promise I will be out of the way. But truly, we give God glory for uh, what he is doing today. And I celebrate. I call him Pop Wright, Mr. Wright. I am, I am an adopted member of the Wright family. So um, this is well, well, well deserved. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God be the glory for the things he has done with his power. you quite the same again as I see you in the office building. That was wonderful. It is, um, it's my great pleasure to be here today. And it was so nice uh, to talk to Deborah earlier and to see uh, Robert's sons. <clears throat> I, asked, uh, I asked Deborah what was the root of the first after Robert's name, because every time you see it, it's like Robert O. Wright the first, Robert O. Wright the first. Now, I'm I'm Michael Przicki, my son's junior, but I don't say the first. She said because there are a lot of Roberts and she wanted to make sure everybody understood who was first. <laughs> that's a great story. I'm glad to have heard it. And of course, so that's one thing. And then when I, I got our executive order, there was information that not only was he Robert O. Wright the first, but he was Oxy, Bobby Baby, Rob, and Robert O. So he had a lot of ways to be known by members of this community. I just want to say, uh, let me state a, a few things. First of all, we do this We do this because we want to perpetuate the memories of very, very special people in our community. And the way this works is city council makes a recommendation, then the mayor can decide to act on it or not. And I said last time we did this, we don't want to be doing this all the time for everybody who walks in the door who says, I have a friend who I want to name a street after, because we will diminish, diminish the places where we've named streets where people really deserve to be remembered. And so I hope everybody understands that we're here because uh, Robert O. Wright I led an exemplary life that is worth remembering. And I was so delighted when I saw that Pastor Beeman 
uh, was a strong supporter of this effort and that uh, Senator Brown was a strong supporter of this effort. And nothing could affirm my decision to do this better than to come out here and see all of you folks here who are here to celebrate the naming of this street. So I'm delighted uh, to, to play a role in it. So we have an executive order here, and it goes through a lot of the, th the same things you already know uh, about our honoree. Uh, but basically, at the end, it simply says in the executive order 2019 number four, based on Mr. Wright's significant contributions to the city of Wilmington and pursuant to Wilmington City Code, the mayor will honor the request to subname a portion of the street in the area of East 35th Street as Robert O. Wright the First Way. And we will do this today by the official unveiling, but this has been this has been signed by the mayor. It's an official document that I'll give to the family, uh, but um, and it's also gone through all the official processes. So, as of today, when we pull this down, this is now Robert O. Wright Way, and you can all be very proud of it. And thank you for ha letting me play a role in today's celebration. <laughs> you want to go do this now? <clears throat> okay. So now we can walk over. And we will uh, unveil. Oh, I'm very sorry. See, I, I didn't read the, I didn't read the fanciest run of show in the world on this thing. Okay, go ahead. Sorry, come on back. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. At this time, we're going to ask uh, the family of Brother Wright if they would come forward. Uh, let's receive them with love. Good morning. I know it's a funeral home, but good morning. Good morning. All right, that's more like it. Uh, we want to thank, uh, want to take a moment. Today uh, would not be possible. Uh, some people uh, watch you from afar. They see your good works. They speak well of them. And then sometimes they take the initiative to acknowledge them. Um, and today, uh, she's in the back and she's hiding. But this came about because of Miss Terry. Go ahead and wave your hand, Miss Terry. You loud enough. Come on, don't hide. <laughs> Miss Terry uh, brought this proposition uh, to the city. Um, and it was uh, brought and it came to pass uh, in this time and on this day as a result of, uh, I want to thank Councilman Vass Turner. He put some effort behind this. Uh, but more importantly, Tanny Washington in the mayor's office. Um, when it was presented to council, uh, my dad, he, he, he always told the truth, whether it was right or wrong, or whether you liked it or not. And it was always right. So I'm going to share it today. So it was brought to council, and it was fraught with a little controversy. Some things happened, it fell by the wayside. Uh, so it didn't happen when we thought it would happen. So uh, Miss Terry got a little discouraged. So she wanted to surprise us. She didn't know what to do, so she gave me a call. And after her call, I made a call. And my call made another call. And then today, here we are. But not only was it State Senator Darius Brown that made this happen, but State Representative Sherry Dorsey Walker. Uh, she received a call from Councilman Turner, and as a result, things got moving. And Ms. Tanny Washington was the fuel behind uh, this taking place as well as the mayor's office. So I, I want to give credit where credit is due. Uh, my grandfather told me that standing in that parking lot many years ago to always make sure you give credit where credit is due. Um, so today, we want to thank everyone for coming out today. We want to thank you for thinking enough of my father, thinking enough of us uh, to be here. Uh, today is actually marks 32 years that the House of Right Mortuary has been existing today. So it didn't happen when we thought it would happen, but it happened at the right time. And so we're grateful. So um, I don't know if... Uh, Mrs. Wright, did you want to say anything? 
I just want to thank everybody. I'm just filled. Oh, God only knows. I'm just filled. And I just want to thank everyone who played a part in it. I want to thank everyone for being here. And I want to thank everyone who continued to pray for us and pray our strength in the Lord. And I just love all of y'all. And I just, again, thank you, thank you, thank you. And, and, and finally, in closing, uh, we'll begin the uh, unveiling. But across the street, uh, we do have uh, a photo booth on the inside because we want to celebrate and still honor my father's life and honor our 32nd anniversary. We also have some catered food as well uh, on the inside. So we want you to stick around uh, after the unveiling. And again, we want to thank everyone uh, for your participation and thank everyone for being here today. Thank you. Also, um, I want to thank Mr. Mark Powell as well in the city of